Good afternoon, everybody. It is Wednesday, February the 1st, and let us begin with prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for being good to us. And I just pray that as we study your word that we would learn more about you so that we can draw closer to you and to spread your word to others. And I pray that you bless this time together now in Jesus' name. Amen. So today we are in Psalm 119, Psalm 119, uh, verse uh, 57. It says, Thou art my portion, O Lord, I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreat it thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. So once again, uh, we're in Psalm 119, and throughout this book, it mentions several times the word of God. Um, and, you know, no matter what stage of life you are in, the word of God will always be enough. And, and this is what uh, Psalm 119 uh, keeps uh, reiterating. It, it mentions uh, thy word or thy testimony, thy judgments, uh, thy commandments, thy statues, thy precepts. It mentions these things over and over because it's trying to get a point across that God's word will always be enough uh, for our lives. But I want to point out in verse 62, it says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. So once again, we find in this psalm, uh, and you all remember from uh, last time that this psalmist was go going through something and he mentions thy word, you know, has comforted me. But now we come to a stage, and, and many of you uh, might be going through this now or have faced a time in your life where it feels like you're in the midnight hours. It just, you know, life seems kind of dark and mainly, uh, maybe kind of lonely or, you know, it seems like there's uh, little hope. But this is what the psalmist says in verse 62. He says, At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee. And, you know, to us, uh, humanly thinking about this, we're like, Th this doesn't make sense to us. Why would you uh, give thanks at midnight or give thanks during the hard times? But then he mentions, because of thy righteous judgments, he remembers the truth of God's word. He remembers the promises of God, that he always keeps them, that he's always faithful. You know, in the verse before, it says, The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. So, in this verse, he, he's saying, you, you know, he may not have all the physical riches in this life. There, You know, he may be going through struggles, but he remembers uh, God's word. That That's something that can never uh, be taken away in the Christian life. And he says, I will give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. You know, even in the hard times, uh, you realize that God is always there and that he's always good. And I, I know it may sound a cliche, but during those hard times, you learn to lean on the Lord even more. Because, you know, when the going is good and everything seems perfect, um, we tend to uh, not rely on God as much. And during these times of hardship, it's when we learn to rely on the Lord, and really that's when he grows us uh, to have more faith in him and to realize that, you know, no matter if if it's a hard time, there's something to be thankful for. You know, if you're a Christian, uh, you can always praise God for your salvation. That's something nobody can take away. And it's saying nobody can take away God's word either. And yes, they may could take away the physical copy of God's word, but we do know that uh, God's word can be hid in our hearts, and that's something nobody uh, can take away from us. And also, it's a promise in God's word that his word will last forever, so nobody can take that away from us. And it says in verse 64 as well, it says, So earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. You know, in, in times of hardship, we're quick to complain, aren't we? But the psalmist says, he will give thanks, and he remembers that the earth is full 
of the Lord's mercy. So no matter what you're going through today, maybe you're going through a hard time, remember that the Lord is always there for you. And there's always something to be thankful for. God's mercies are new every morning. And so I just want to encourage you uh, with that today. So before you run to anyone else, you know, with problems or before you run to anything else, run to the Lord and run to his word, just like the psalmist uh, here did. So let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for being good to us and and uh, for your promises that they're always true and that we can always find hope, that we can always find rest uh, in your word. And I pray that you would just help us uh, that share your word with others, share your word with those who, who don't have hope or who are going through a hardship. And I pray that you would help us today to give thanks in everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I pray that you have a great day.